Hello and welcome to Lazy Low Collectibles and this week on the turntable we have these dinky toys for restoration and as we watch the car going around I would like to welcome everyone to the channel and thank you for watching this video. So after the turntable let's take a closer look of these um, dinky toys. One uh, Number 132 Packard and I did look up on internet this is Packard 250 convertible 1952. I think it looks gorgeous. Um, I only seen these um, edges on the pictures. So this one I think is an additional by Dinky. I'm not 100 percent sure, but this is this is a beautiful car. It's a really nice as and um, as I read on the internet, these were um, very luxury um, cars. I've got the um, I think I've got the um, uh, driver and the windscreen from uh, Modern Supplies so I will be putting them in um, I'm pretty excited about this car this re this been sitting here for three years um, this is going to be my um, um, entry for the diecast and Modellus community challenge for February um, any dinky vehicle so this is going to be my um, car to be done so I will drill the um, rivets out and uh, we'll take this apart and we'll see um, how does it look inside. Um, the drilling is done, but before I take this apart, I would like to show you this is the um, driver. It's not painted. I don't know if you can see. But it's got a pin on the bottom. And you can slide him there and he will be sitting there. Obviously, I will put a little bit glue, but that's the driver. And I've got the windscreen as well, which I need to slide in. So I will show you. So I did drill this out carefully. Uh, one, oh yeah, so the back axle is not mushroomed, as you can see, because the car itself holds it in. You can see. So that's a bonus. You don't need to remove that. So that's really good. That one I will leave on. It looks like it's rusted on. So they go there. The front, uh, the front mushroom, I have to remove. I think I will do this one possibly, and I will remove this tire. Is had its had its times, but it come off quite easy. But I will replace. I will replace the tire. So that's the base, pretty rusty. So this will go into the paint stripper and then I will remove the rust. So let's see the interior bit. Um, I think that's the um, windscreen here. And as you can see, that's all left from the old one. So if I'm correct, this has to slide in here. I don't want to make any mess, but this has to slide in here. A bit further. Obviously, when the um, when the paint stripping will be done, that will go a bit further, but um, yeah, so that will sit there when it goes in properly. I might have to work a little bit these on these parts, as I heard that um, not all of these parts are good. For example, you see there's a little extra gloss in there, which uh, not allow the gloss goes in. But anyway, and uh, I have the um, I have the the stirring wheel here i have to straighten this up which i will do and then it will come out um, i have to do it carefully but anyway even if it breaks i have another one so as you can see and uh, all the other parts are part of the um part of the chassis so i have to paint the seats by hand so i will do that by hand but apart from that, this is one casting, so everything uh, casted on the on the um, chassis. 
So I've got um, indicators, the bumpers, and all the details, the front is casted on the um, part. So um, I will I will remove the um, steering wheel. Actually, I was wrong. The interior come out. I mean, the dashboard came out. It just just um, dropped out as I was trying to put the um, windscreen in. So now you can see how the windscreen will sit. So this is how the windscreen will be. And then obviously we need to slide the um, dashboard in. So pretty interesting. But well, this I can I can uh, uh, paint strip separately and then I can uh, detail this separately as well. So that's pretty good. The paint stripping is done. So I need to measure now the rivet post. And that is, let's see, that is five millimeters. So let's see what sort of rivets I can put into this. I think this one is a bit too small. If you look, that's a bit too small. So if I go for the second size, you can see that that will cover better. So if I measure this rivet, this is, I think, 3.1, 3 but we can say it's 3 millimeters. Yeah, it's 3.1, 3 3.15, even 3.2. So I can use, um, so that's okay there. So how, how I normally take the rivet off is I use a plier and I normally just hold that and just gently sand that off. So I've got the rivet, I've got the rivet out and uh, that will do. And I always keep these, they are okay for, they are okay for, um, um, ex as an axle. So I'll keep that, so I will need another one for this uh, model. So I will do another one and I will drill these and I will show you after I drill it if it works or not. Oh, also, when I drill, I normally put the base plate back on, just like this, so I know where I'm drilling. I shouldn't be too bad. I will use a small one to make a, um, um, a start, and then I'm going to use the 3.5 millimeters. So that shouldn't be a problem. And I don't know why the camera isn't focusing, but anyway, I will drill them out and I will show you if it works or not. Here we go, all done. Nice, nicely done. So the rivets are going in easy. And what I'm going to do, so as you can see, I've drilled them out. Obviously I will, I will use the file to make them smooth. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some blue tech in and when I paint, the paint will not go into the holes because I happened that before to me that I put the um, rivets in after I finished and they didn't go in properly because the paint settled. But you see, they go in nicely. So yeah, so that's all done. So this will, I, I will work on this. I have to put, I think a little filler there and otherwise the body is pretty good. So I will carry on doing uh, the preparations for painting.
This is assembly time, but before we put the car together, let's see quickly what we've done. This is the little figure. You can see I've got tie, handkerchief, uh, I give a nice grey suit for the guy. Um, the base has been repainted, the um, axles cleaned, the hubs cleaned, um, and I put all of them back, but the back obviously is not mushroomed as the chassis will hold it. And that's the body, the windscreen is in already with the um, dashboard as well. I've done the detailings on the car, so I think it looks really good. Um, it's been cleared, painted, hand hand painted um, seats, interior, and uh, the um, steering wheel is back. So I'm going to put this together. Um, obviously, I cannot put on on the. I cannot turn the car because uh, I've got the windscreen there. So I will be um, putting this together off camera. So. Um, I'm not going to crash the windscreen. Um, it's just a little bit glue and pop the two rivets in and it should um, do the job for the assembly. Before and after section, this is uh, the Dinky Toys before restoration. Um, a couple of tires were missing. Anyway, they were uh, not very good. And uh, chipped paint, no windscreen, no um, driver. And this is the Dinky Packard after restoration. Um, in my opinion, I think it looks good. The color is a bit too dark, but um, anyway, that's okay. So our Packard is finished. Um, I think it looks fantastic in my opinion. Uh, the, the color is a bit dark, but I think it will suit the car. So I've got the driver, I've got the windscreen in all new tires and uh, added some extra details. And I think it looks really good. It's a good roller as well. It rolls very well. And this is my entry for the Diecast and Modellus Community February Challenge Any Dinky Vehicle. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And please leave comments down below. What do you think of this restoration? Have a great Friday, guys. Have a nice weekend and take care now. Bye-bye.